coming up. SH Figure Arts are in the endgame now, finally. Jazzwares gets it on in the Octagon. Casey gets unmasked. And NECA rev their engines for San Diego Comic Con at home. All this and more, stay tuned. What's going on, toy fans? Ben Piper here from Project Piper Customs, and we're back with another news weekly roundup. And I'm here joined by our founder and captain, Carl Smallridge. How are we, mate? Yeah, I'm really good, mate. Really good. I've had a fantastic good. week and um, some fantastic releases and some pictures oh. out there. And uh, oh, just excited for tonight. That's not acceptable. It's 2020. You're meant to be miserable like the rest of the world. <laughs> not a tad. Not, not with this SHF lineup for tonight. Come on. This is, this is good. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of our main talking points. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Um, obviously, I think NECA are, are just going to whitewash this news. They definitely will next week, but we're going to start off with everything else beforehand, especially what we saw come out in the last, what, today or two, is um, the SH Figure Arts new Endgame figures. But yes, looks like we are getting yet another Iron Man, yet another <laughs> Thor, and yet another Thanos, and yet another Scarlet Witch. And yes, yet another Doctor Strange. Um, now, these all look like the final battle versions. Um, but, you know, this is SHF. You're going to get multiples. They're going to make their money back. And all of these should have been this way from the day dot. Only two need to be done. But if anything was to go by the Iron Man of Avengers Infinity War, they released about five of those things with different weapons packs. But yeah, so Carlos, tell us what you're excited for. Oh, man. That Doctor Strange. I tell you what. The... Cloth cape is just gonna is just gonna make so much of a difference. Before when they brought it out, it was absolutely terrible with that plastic cape. And oh uh, rubbish. Yeah. Oh no, it, it was it was just horrendous. It's like um it's like you know the the Revo Tech, you know, Batman, all those things they came out mm -hmm. with. Those plastic capes, they just have to go. Um yeah. he looks absolutely amazing. I'm not uh, I don't think the costume changed much throughout the films, so no. it's, it's gonna really be hard to try and update you know, his uh, his whole costume. But the face sculpt, from what I can see, I know the picture's a little bit grainy, but from what I can tell, he's a little bit better. And um, yep. it looks like he comes with some really kick-ass accessories as well. So I'm I'm looking forward to this. He's going to be on my list. Absolutely. Yeah, see so here he has his, obviously, yeah, he's, he's got a cloth cape, apart from that hinged crap. Capes should not be hinged, end of. Okay. Um, but yeah, cloth cape, and obviously he's got his magic sword, and he's uh, you know looking into the future for the fourteen million version. Uh, well, it just looks like the time stone is is just spaffing everywhere. And speaking yeah. of spaffing, uh, it looks like <laughs> Thor is jizzing electricity everywhere. Um, so it doesn't look like there's any difference in this one compared to the one we just got of the fat Thor, other than that he's just got lightning coming from every orifice. Yeah. Um, so if you need lightning effects, <laughs> Thor's got you covered. Um, yeah, so yeah, looks like. But that, um, that head sculpt on, the, on Thor, though, he that looks really good. Yeah, I, I don't know, the, the hair itself, the, the, what drapes down his sides, um, mm. should be more closer to his head. I don't, the way it's flared out like that, I don't know. It, does, it doesn't. It's not doing it for me, head sculpt wise. But the yeah. lightning effects, I'm all about those translucent effects. And uh, yeah, so they look pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Moving on to Thanos, I think is where he's got his the armor's a bit more battered up. He's got yeah. a, a movie accurate sword. I believe there's a I'm not sure if there's two versions or if it's just a one with multiple accessories. But they showed him displayed with him sitting down on a rock with the separate helmet piece. And I think we're also going to get a completely disintegrated uh, looking uh, power gauntlet, so that you know he's doing the snap with the power gauntlet as well. And I think a bit more of a Probably another head sculpt, I assume. Um, well, I'm, I'm hoping it just comes as, all, as an accessory, you know, because um, I, I don't fancy buying two of these bad boys. No, no, you shouldn't have to buy three of them. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah, but what will be interesting is obviously just before all this, Jai Peng of Nutter Studios or Man Nipple or whatever he likes to go by these days just released his accessory kit for the SHF Endgame Thanos, which included multiple battered head sculpts, um, a couple of different versions of the sword. I think one was broken, one was regular, and then, of course, the disintegrated uh, gauntlet as well. So it'll be interesting to see um, just, just right on the release of that, the SHF have to go and release their own. So it'll be fun to see who uh, the, the market competing a little bit. Looking at the new Tony, he's looking a bit of a zombie. 
a bit of more of, oh, I don't care anymore face going on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's his battle damaged armor where it's all beaten and uh, crapped up. And of course, he's, uh, he's got the gems in his arm. And uh, yeah. yeah, they're spunking electricity as well. And uh, I think this is going to have the, the, the snapping hand and obviously just the, you know, the fingers out uh, as he does Iron Man. Um, but yeah, and it looks like also we have uh, an end game version of Scarlet Witch, which looks to me no different than the one we got before apart from i think some glowy red eyes um facial expression hasn't changed whatsoever same effects same outfit um no, do you I have don't. the previous version no i don't know i didn't i didn't buy the previous version because the um i thought the pet the paint um, job on it was absolutely horrendous and i'm, I'm yeah. not like customizing myself but i no. i don't know whether it's the uh, photoshop or the way they've um started um taking the pictures but her hair looks a little bit more accurate in this uh, but yeah as far as everything else I can see, it's literally the same cast. Um, I, you know, I've been over the pictures. I really can't see much of a difference. If you bought the last one, you know, yeah. whether, whether you pull the trigger on this one, is, it depends how much of a, of a witch fan you are, to be fair. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If those little minor details do it for you, then, uh, then go for it. But moving on, keeping with the Marvel theme, we have the Square Enix, uh, what was it called, Bring Arts. Uh, they finally released a uh, full painted version of their Spider-Man. And these are like the Play Arts Kai, but in 112 scale. And, uh, you know, if you're into the stylistic look, uh, these are your jam. And th these look awesome. Um, not my cup of tea in terms of design, but of course they've got very, like, much an anime feel to them. Um, like Robotech kind of stuff. But yeah, if you enjoy the the stylistic look, then um, then these are, these are up your alley. And the, the Spider Man, the paint job on Spider Man looks incredible, um, especially with the, the Waldo's. Very much sort of a blend of the comic version of the Iron Spider and the the movie version. And uh, a good look at the Iron Man and Captain America finally. And they looks like they can they looks like they can pose like a mother. They really got some articulation on them. And do you know what? They look really good. You know, just looking at the pictures, especially looking at the Iron Man, I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. Mm. He just looks amazing. And if you want to move away from maybe the sort of the movie look and you want more of like, like you said, more of an anime kind of style, you know, I mean, this is going to fit in perfect. You know, that cap, you know, he's he looks pretty fucking badass, to be fair, doesn't he? Yeah. You know? I know I like my I love my movie accurate figures and I love my fig I love my uh, SHF. But, you know, I'm looking at this thinking, George, you know what? That could be my new favorite cap just standing right there. You know, he looks yeah. Really yeah. I mean, I'm not used to seeing cap in armor, but um, you know, there's always a first time for everything. But uh, if this, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you could get some, if this inspires you for toy photography, then I mean, yeah, some of the good, poses, yeah. Are, uh, yeah, ain't too bad. The Iron Man does look good. It does. The, the mask looks familiar. It looks like a, a mask that's based on a mask that we've already seen. But yeah, hopefully, I, don't know, I think there's a Thor. I think when we reported on this last, there was a Thor that it was just uh, a blank. Yeah, but I guess that's Ooh. one that we might see coming up soon. Wow, um, so full cast then. These are pricey though. Uh, these are going to be one hundred and thirty dollars each. Um, Ooh, so if you're, you're willing to, yeah, yeah, I can feel my wallet's nutsack just yeah. jumping straight up inside itself. But yeah, they're available to pre-order now at Dorkside, and they've got a release date of December. If you're interested, just um, for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Why buy presents for other people when you can buy them for yourself? Of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so moving from Marvel, and I honestly thought Mattel or someone would have jumped on the USC bandwagon, but Jazzwares have decided to do so instead. And uh, yeah, they're, they're starting to bring out some USC figures. So I'm not a big USC fan, so I don't know how half of these people are, apart from Conor McGregor. He's obviously a very famous name. Um, but these look very much like a, you know, just a, like a Mattel, but with 10 times more articulation. Yeah. And um, I, I'm loving the I'm loving the cloth you know the uh, the cloth shorts. I think yeah, they're really I cool. Yeah, I couldn't tell if they were cloth, but I'm seeing it now. It's like the cloth has sunken into the yeah, grooves yeah, of the articulation. But... Yeah, I'm sure they are, mate. It looks really good, though. I, I I love the look of it, and those tattoos look really good. So that's yeah. you know that's that's a good sign. Yeah, that's for sure. Good time for quality, mean, these, yeah. Hopefully, they're scale well with other figures, but these bucks look mm. great for customizing. But also, <laughs> like I've been trying to do a Yuri. Boyka from Undisputed Custom for ages, and I had to do the uh, water slide decals on him. And I know how difficult that is, oh. but I need some fighters for him to fight once I get him completed. And uh, yeah. these are ideal. Um, so yeah, apologies to the USC fans. I we have no idea who the rest of these people are apart from McGregor, just because he's that famous. 
Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> what you can do. Oh, salt in the hands, head, and like a flag. Yeah. So yeah, these uh, I have some details here, and uh, they're available to pre-order right now at Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I'm not sure of a release date yet, but I'm sure they'll have some details on their site. And moving from UFC to Star Wars now. Black Series have started to dive into their video game line also, and also we've got their first, I believe it's their first, I could be wrong, it is uh, their first one out the gate, which is a Gamerverse, or Gamer Greats as they call it, which is a Django Fett, I guess it was a Bounty Hunter game that came out a while back. It, to, to me, personally, I can't tell the difference between this and the regular movie version. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some difference, I've just that blind to it but it looks looks great if you haven't got a, a Django I'm sure you'll fit straight in with the rest of your collection how does this look to you mate no, I, I, you know I, I love it I think he yeah he looks absolutely fantastic I, I can't tell the difference like you said between the movie version and this version I am uh, I'm not that much of a, a, a gamer fan but uh, look at that head sculpt still you know that's really cool you know, yeah, apart, from the, uh, apart from the shine on it it looks amazing yeah. doesn't it And but they always do they do amazing head sculpts you know for the, for the price you know of the uh, of the figure they just they just nail it every time. I don't know how they do it because you know you get some of the big ones and they can't do it. But uh, you know, hats yeah. off to them. It looks really good. And um, you know, any Star Wars fan, if you missed out on this first time, you know, this guy is going to fit straight in, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you just need some matte spray coat over the face yeah, to get it sheet off. Yeah, like it's the movie. The, the face looks like you know the guy who played him in the movie. So I mean, unless I don't know, I don't know if the video game was that accurate. I don't know what console it was released for. Pardon my ignorance, but. Um, but yeah, yeah, it'll fit straight in, um, especially if you're into collecting the Mandalorians, you know, build up your army of um, bounty hunters. He's going to be great for customising, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. If you're a Clone Wars uh, fan and you're collecting any of the clones, you know, that, that head sculpt's going to come in handy because you could just uh, whip the head off, use, use that oh. one, it's just squared away, isn't it? Perfect. Little army builder, yes, yeah, a bloody yeah. good idea. Yeah, Clone Wars stuff, just, um, yeah, just have them unmasked claims yeah, yeah so I can see. and this guy is 25 dollars uh is a gamestop exclusive and he released in september but yeah so check in on our instagram and we'll find out if this uh this guy's going to be uh, available over here in the uk to be revealed i guess definitely but um moving on to the star of this week's news and most definitely will be the star of next week's news for sure but we're going to go on to something a little bit unusual and at necker of so i think it actually got leaked by toy arc their first comic-con reveal for this year <laughs> it's a very unorthodox gremlin uh, which is the uh, official some unofficial summer games figure <laughs> <laughs> this guy just looks random. He's got a set of goggles, uh, an Olympic torch, flippers, and some speedos. Yeah, I you know. I wasn't. I wasn't sure at first. You know, when you think, oh, what, what are they doing here? But you know, the more you look at it, the more I love it. You know, it is. It's. It's brilliant. You know, it's. It's just so fucking way out there, isn't it? Uh, you no, know, uh, so well, beyond what you would normally sort of look at and buy. You know, you're looking at short the movie and you know certain scenes. But this stuff here, if you're if you're a collector and this is your uh, this is your bag, this this is a mass, isn't it? It's just so fun. It is, yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't, obviously, this is completely outside the movie, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. They always pack the uh, gremlins in with a ton of accessories, so these are great. Um, but it's just so <laughs> random seeing a gremlin in speed. It's but... great, though. It's fun. Is that is that is that cloth? Is that is cloth speedos as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of speedos. It looks it's like he actually has. Um, like polyester for his little hair fuzz. I didn't know if the regular Gremlins had that either or not. I tell you what, I love Necker for their um, franchises that they uh, they do put figs out. Man, they mm -hmm. can go weird sometimes. Uh, not knocking it, this looks great. It's just very yeah, strange. Yeah. Weren't expecting it. A bit like the uh, the the Richard Simmons uh, Mego that they got coming yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have some details here. This will be released on the twenty third of July this year. Uh, yeah. Available in Walmart stores. And also available online for the US and international at the NECASTORE.com, the official NECA store. They're starting to ship international. Well, they always were shipping international, but they're making their exclusives international this time. But yes, yeah, so the 23rd of July, I was priced at um, from the NECA store is $34.99. Uh, in store and Walmart is $29.96. Uh, so yeah, pick your poison and you'll be available at the end of July. 
regarding their NECA. Casey Jones and Raphael two packs are have been hitting Walmarts across the country, although some people would argue that as they're still having trouble finding them. But they're only having two uh, two units per store, so they're only getting in two at a time. And it uh, sounds like you've got to get in early. Um, but yeah, so came across this on Twitter. And someone had actually pulled the mask off to see what was underneath. And lo and behold, it is still Elias' face they've used underneath. But obviously, the straps are all glued to his face, leaving cavities. But he had posted it. Um, but then I've seen this uh, a video on YouTube. And it ran down through the whole story. And it looks like the actor, Elias Cotillas, um himself had commented. Now, Nick, Randy had always said that they had a back and forth with... Uh, the actor to try and get his likeness right. So they pumped out a load of head sculpts ready to have a deal ready so they can just go ahead and ship them. But unfortunately, the Elias wasn't interested. Uh, he just said he just found it weird to have his face on a doll. And then when uh, Judith Hogue, the lady who played April, had a 30, 30th anniversary Zoom reunite with the cast, and then she uh, was she unboxed a bunch of NECA turtles, and she... She apparently she said that she couldn't believe that Elias would pass up such an opportunity and she'll be having some words with him. Because uh, <laughs> good girl, it looks like now he's actually agreed to. Yeah, it looks, looks see, like she had her words. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> um, which also kind of hints hints to the fact that she's absolutely one hundred percent getting her own figure. Um, just for her in through her enthusiasm alone. I love it. You know, the people who do um, the dioramas with the action figures, I just love it so much. And I just got a whole bunch. Uh, it was gifted to me of uh, NECA action figures that were fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Is there an April figure in the pipeline? We're going to have to talk to NECA, aren't we? But, yeah, according to these comments, uh, for the person who posted it, Elias has come straight in and said, yeah, I see you have to admit it's a bit strange. At first, I felt a bit creeped out about my face being on some doll. They're action figures, Elias. They're action figures. Um, <laughs> but I have since agreed. So it looks like we are officially You're getting right. an under Casey Jones' head at some point down the line. And then, of course, the next convert comment that he made on, on following the conversation is he doesn't know what stage of development they're in. Well, we do. <laughs> They've already got them ready to go. But what I have seen is, obviously, someone's got impatient and decided just to sculpt, repaint, and fill in and uh, just take the mask off and just just give it a repaint and you know fill in that sculpt work to give them uh, an official one last Elias head. And it actually came out really well. Whoever did this did an amazing job, and it looks yeah, great. It yeah, definitely. You know, giving the hair a little bit of a repaint as well, put some brown highlights in it. Uh, the skin tone is perfect. You can't see where any of the cavities were. Um, and, yeah, so it's really well done on this. Um, so, yeah, that's potentially what an unmasked head would look like. I doubt we'll get it on this, but no doubt it'll probably be we're kind of guessing it may be either in an exclusive two pack or maybe a loot crate exclusive. We don't know, but I guarantee you whatever they put out as an exclusive eventually will make it to retail. It's pretty much a given at this point. So um, if you're impatient, you know, this is what you can do with your mask, Casey Jones, or uh, if you're willing to wait, looks like we are definitely getting one down the line, um, which is good. And speaking of down the line, NECA uh, have said via another tweet, by the way, if you're not following NECA on Twitter, what are you doing? Most of their news <laughs> gets revealed on Twitter. If you don't like Twitter, just set up an account and follow them only. So we've got to do. Um, but they have said that uh, they're happy to announce their SDCC uh, exclusives. The reveals will start next week on Tuesday. Okay, so that's the 7th of, Ju uh, 7th of July. Uh, a different reveal each day through until Friday. And it will also provide details on retail availability and online options and the ability to order outside the US, which is a first, because um, most of the time they're online exclusives, pre-sale, has always strictly been US only. So this is great. So it means that we have a chance to grab them as well. And uh, so as of next week, Tuesday, they'll be dropping a, a new reveal or a bunch of reveals each day through until Friday. And for the, TM the TMNT stuff, they have provided a release schedule for phase one. And it looks like a cartoon Target exclusive, Wave 3. We have release dates for Metalhead, Bebop, Rocksteady. Um, SDCC exclusive items, Target exclusives themselves, which I'm assuming they're cartoon too. Exclusive figure box set, so expect a new cartoon box set. And exclusive merchandise bundle. Uh, bundle, bundle. Uh, movie stuff will be Walmart exclusives. Uh, Katie and Raph have already got. Leonardo, basically the four turtles in their two-pack format. 
uh, release dates for them there. I think, yeah, that's the 6th of July. And the Super Shredder is uh, actually on my birthday, 10th of really? August. <laughs> so expect UK pre-orders to start hitting for these other ones very, you know, in the, in the upcoming weeks. And then, of course, in the arcade, speciality uh, exclusive, which will be found on, on the speciality stores, uh, will be wave two. I think it might be the Turtles in Time with their hoverboards. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's the uh, the 14th of July. So there we have the release schedule for phase one of their TMNT stuff. Um, that's pretty much all we want to cover in this week's episode. Uh, as I say, next week will probably be very much necker heavy with all of their reveals going over everything and everything yeah. that we can look forward to. Hopefully we get some absolute gems. And it mainly is going to be like a Comic-Con at home. I believe that's the official YouTube channel is Comic-Con International. And it's their at home edition. So follow them on YouTube and you'll get... Um, like a digital online walkthrough of what would be their floor plan, but it would give you details on their their booths, their retailers, there's just all sorts of what you would find, but it's the at-home online version uh, of the panels. I think they're going to be doing Zoom panels, no, no doubt. Um, but yeah, follow their Comic-Con International YouTube for their at-home version of Comic-Con uh, to get everything. But yeah, Comic-Con season is ahead, is, is still a go, even during the pandemic. And um, we're about to, to hit the road of it next week. So, yeah, lots to look forward to. I can't wait for next week. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm oh, just, yeah. Uh, and I'm off. Uh, I'm off next week as well. Oh. My, first, my, my, weekend start, my week starts from Tuesday. Come on, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, because I'm on a two-week rotation at work. And oh. uh, so next week is my official week off, so I can be right on it. with. You'll be on with, YouTube with, walking around then. I know, which pretty much means my entire day week is going to be spent online updating the Facebook and Instagram. And speaking of the Facebook and Instagram, if you want all the latest news live as it drops, which will be next week for NECA, head on over to our Instagram and Facebook pages at Plastic Action UK. Definitely do that if you want some live, real-time news. And uh, tune in. So please do subscribe to the channel if we've earned it. And stay tuned for more of the news updates. We have more yeah. diorama builds and uh, prop making and painting from Tom. And loads of other videos down the line. Uh, you can follow me at Project Piper Customs on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. I have a new Custom K video coming very, very soon. It's cool. been a while since I uploaded one. I just Work has been kicking my ass. Um, and, yeah, uh, Carlos, where can they find you, sir? You can find me on Facebook, Plastic underscore uh, Action. Uh, and uh, you will, uh, you'll, you'll see me uh, sort of loitering around. Please, no jokes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you got no, burned pretty hard during our uh, tea and fix. Okay, you know, you're well, good. Well, you're safe. Factor, factor of 500 for that one. Oh, cheers, Tom. <laughs> you have not reached your final form. Um, not yet, not yet. <laughs> and you can also find him updating the uh, official website um, at www.plasticactionuk.co.uk. Uh, where the news will be updated live there as well. So, yeah, lots to follow, lots to stay in tune for. And uh, I hope we've captivated you enough for you to stay in touch and uh, stay tuned. Come, so, come on next week. Uh, absolutely. So until next week, that's goodbye from me and Carl and Plastic Action out.